Well, here we are out in my mad science lab again. This is Shaziz. I uh, want to do a video on uh, my new spark gap. If you uh, ever get a hold of one of these old burnout uh, G bulbs, it's a uh, halogen bulb, um, sealed, be sealed beam lamp. Get one that's burn out makes a perfect uh, vacuum spark gap for your Tesla coils. Let me uh, spin this around over here. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, if you look right back in here, it's an old seal beam uh, <coughs> lamp that uh, was burned out. I replaced the bulb and. Uh, it works perfect as a uh, vacuum spark gap. Let me uh, readjust a few things here and I'm going to turn off some lights and let you see this thing light up. Okay, lights are off. Here we go. Watch this thing light up. See that down there? Makes a perfect uh, vacuum spark gap. And, uh, even helped me out uh, increasing the power over here on my uh, Shazoo's coil. It's working out really well. Anyway, I wanted to make a short video to show you that. See how that works out. Uh, lighting up the room pretty good. All my fluorescence, my plasma ball. <laughs> okay, let me uh, zoom this over, over here. See if I can get that. Yeah, you can't see it. It's it's buried. Uh, I was just going to show you my mercury vapor bulb there, but my cord ain't long enough for some reason. It's hidden behind the coil. Can't see it. There it is. <laughs> That's my mercury vapor bulb. Alrighty. Let me turn some lights back on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, like I said, that was a, a G all glass sealed beam lamp. They seem to work really good as a uh, vacuum spark gap. I've even tried these uh, these halogen ones here. Whenever the uh, bulb gets bu uh, burned out, it has a uh, a gap in between there and shoots across that gap and makes a perfect vacuum spark gap but the uh, halogen one right there halogen headlamp it didn't work as well as the uh, sealed beam the sealed beam worked uh, perfect you ought to try it out if you're going to put together some Tesla coils but anyway I just thought I'd make a quick short little video about uh, vacuum spark gap made out of a sealed beam bulb. I actually kind of did a little more work to my lab and I cleaned up around. Can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
reorganized a few things. Ah, uh, believe it or not, my bench looks a lot cleaner than it did. Let me run around here and turn that uh, light switch off again. Puppy humming. She's tuned real good now. But that's all due to that vacuum spark gap that I made out of the uh, seal beam tube. I couldn't get a decent spark gap on it any other way. I tried, but look at that. Ain't that cool? My plasma ball with 20,000 volts, 20k. <laughs> All those fluorescent lights right there and everything. It's all running off that battery, 112 volt car battery right here. And this Shazoo's coil is not even powered, it's just grounded, like I told you in the video prior. It's doing its job. You hear that puppy humming? I wish you could see the. Uh, adjustable spark gap that I got on the side there. I wish you could see that mark on the cross. You could probably hear them. Let me uh, run around and turn the light back on. I'll point those out to you. here and right there those are adjustable spark gaps so you can tune this thing like a piano pretty cool man I guess uh, there really ain't no sense in this video other than the fact that uh, I wanted to tell you you could make a, uh, a really awesome uh, vacuum spark gap out of a old uh, sealed beam light bulb that's burned up don't go out and buy a brand new one that uh, you're going to burn up. Just uh, wait for somebody who has a sealed beam light in their vehicle to have a bad light bulb and say, hey man, don't throw that away. <laughs> don't throw away nothing because uh, wait till you see what I'm going to tell you. You can do a lot of different stuff that uh, most people consider to be junk. Anyway, uh, this is uh, signing off. Y'all take care. Peace.